we're going to look at the series, the summation from 2 to infinity of 1 divided by n times the natural log of n squared. We want to know if this series converges or diverges. So first we'll try the integral test. We'll take the limit as n goes to infinity of 1 divided by n times ln of n squared. This limit is 0. Test for divergence is inconclusive. We have to try something else. So let's try next the integral test. And the integral test works like this. We're going to need a function that gives us the nth term of our series if we plug in a positive integer n greater or equal to 2 for x. Clearly such a function has to be f of x equals 1 divided by x times natural log of x squared. And we'll look at this function just for values of x in the interval 2 to infinity because our series starts at 2. That's all we are interested in. Now to use the integral test we must check that the function satisfies four conditions. The first one is that it is continuous on the interval 2 to infinity. When we look at the function, the denominator is x times ln of x squared. The only time the denominator is 0 for positive values of x is when x equals to 1. If x is not 1, then the denominator is not 0, and 1 divided by x ln of x squared will be defined clearly for any value of x greater or equal to 2. There's nothing there that will make the denominator 0. So the function is continuous on the interval 2 to infinity. Next, we must check that this function is positive. Since everything in this function is positive when x is greater than or equal to 2, the numerator is 1, always positive. The denominator is clearly positive. So dividing two positive numbers will yield a positive number. Therefore, f of x is positive for any x in the interval 2 to infinity. The third condition, f is decreasing on the interval 2 to infinity. When we look at this function, we do not have to take the derivative because the numerator is 1 always and the denominator gets larger and larger if x gets larger and larger. So 1 divided by bigger and bigger numbers will yield smaller and smaller numbers. So the function is decreasing on this interval. And the fourth condition that we must check is already been checked because the way we've selected this function, when we plug in n for x, we get 1 divided by n times natural log of n squared. And this is 4n equals to 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6 and so on. So all four conditions have been met. We can now conclude the following. The series from 2 to infinity of 1 divided by n times ln of n squared and the improper integral from 2 to infinity of 1 divided by x times ln of x squared either both converge or both diverge. So these two, the series and the integral, either both converge or they both diverge. So we're going to evaluate the integral first to see if it converges or diverges, and then we'll make the conclusion about the series. First, we'll find an antiderivative of 1 divided by x times ln of x squared by using u substitution u equals ln of x du is 1 over x dx so then in variable u this integral becomes the integral of 1 divided by u squared du which is the integral of u to the minus 2 du and that is uh, u to the minus 1 divided by minus 1. That's the same as minus 1 divided by u. So antiderivative of 1 
divided by x times ln of x squared is equal to minus 1 divided by ln of x. And now let's return to improper integral from 2 to infinity of 1 divided by x times ln of x squared. That's equal to minus 1 divided by natural log of x evaluated from 2 to infinity. This is the limit x approaches infinity minus 1 divided by ln of x and then minus minus 1 over ln of 2 so that is plus 1 divided by ln of 2. Uh, this limit because the denominator is ln of x and the numerator is minus 1 always as x becomes larger and larger and larger so does ln of x this limit is heading towards 0 so this integral converges to 1 divided by natural log of 2. So since the integral from 2 to infinity of 1 divided by x ln of x squared converges our conclusion is that the series so does the series the summation from 2 to infinity of 1 divided by n times ln of n squared by the integral test. So the series converges. We have to be careful not to conclude too much from the integral test since the integral from 2 to infinity 1 divided by x times ln of x squared we saw that this integral converges to 1 divided by ln of 2 it is tempting to say that the series also converges to 1 divided by ln of 2 but that is not true because all we can say is that if the integral converges so does the series but we can say that the integral and the series converge to the same limit make sure you know that and for more videos visit www.math prep videos dot com